Hi, I'm Sam Foxall. I'm a student journalist and today I'm interviewing Liam Charles, ex-Stokey student and star of The Great British Bake Off Ooh. for the 35th anniversary gala celebrations. So how would you describe your experience at Stokey? My experience at Stokey was wicked. I mean, one thing I love about Stokey is that everyone's so like inclusive and so welcoming and you can meet from like any sort of walks of life and you just feel at home. Stokey's the one. So Stokey had its own identity, do you know what I mean? Like, at all the schools in Hackney and possibly in London, like, when I say to people, oh, what's a Christmas school? And they ask me, what's a Christmas school did you go to? I was like, oh, I'm at Stokey. I don't say Stoke Newington School. I say Stokey. Oh, you're at Stokey. You know, Stokey is definitely a thing. Yeah. yeah. So, were you involved in anything inside school that helped you get into baking? How did it happen? It just sort of came out of nowhere, you know? Um, I did like a couple cake sales when I got into sixth form. I thought like when I was in sixth form in Stokey, that's when I found my feet in terms of what I wanted to like do, you know, after uh, secondary school. Um, but it just, it's weird because I wanted to pick food tech for GCSEs, but my mom and my dad was like, no, pick a language, pick a language. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll pick Spanish. So I always did it on the side, I never like saw it's like, you know, food tech for GCSE or nothing. So I think that's what's so good about it is that I didn't learn it like that. So I didn't know what you can and can't do. So it was just more by expression, so I was in the kitchen. So in retrospect, um, are you disappointed that you didn't do anything more? Um, no, not really, because I'm a firm believer of like everything happens for a reason. So if I was meant to study at, uh, at Stokey or do more things related to baking in Stokey, things could be different, you know, so mm. everything sort of happens for a reason. Uh, you took part in a, an LGBT baking competition. Yeah, I did, I came second. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was that like? Um, that was fun, you know, that was really fun because like we have like different schools coming in as well. Um, seeing all the different sort of bakes and that was um, really cool. Uh, what else? That was fun because it's sort of, little did I know, it sort of set me up for Bake Off, innit? Mm. Um, but I didn't look at it that, like that, I thought, okay, cool, this is a good platform to sort of show people not who are not from Stokely that I can bake. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Um, second place is decent, but, you know, we don't talk about that. <laughs> did you know then that you wanted to go into baking? Did you, you wanted to go into Bake Off? Um, because I handled the competition and the whole environment pretty well, say like a solid six, um, I felt like I could possibly do Bake Off, but I knew that I needed to cover so much more discipline. So that was a cake, but I needed to do pastry, bread, biscuits, uh, puff pastry. So I knew if I continued at the rate that I was going, I could potentially go and Bake Off. So it was always at the back of my mind. So, um, did anyone inspire you to apply for Bake Off? This kind of sounds a little bit self-centered, but I sort of like... See, people were saying to me, oh, I apply for Bake Off, apply for Bake Off, because, you know, I bake cakes and stuff. But the people were saying that as soon as I started to bake. But it's a lot to sort of find in, your, to find in yourself that, and to acknowledge that you're ready for it. So, in all retrospect, I sort of inspired myself to do it, because I knew what, what was so fortunate for me, I kind of knew what I wanted to do in my life at such a young age. So I was like, I've got to do it, bro. I've got to do it. So what was the highlight of the whole series? I would say the highlight for the whole series was probably when I first went into the tent. That was nuts. Because I was like, I just couldn't take it in. I was just like, I'm. I'm actually here, like, it's, I've accomplished something that I wanted to do for a couple of years. Um, and another highlight was probably when it, when the lineup was released. That day, bro, I don't think I'll ever experience something like that ever again in my life. Like, I mean, the amount of support I got from it was amazing. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I was chuffed, mad chuffed. So how has your whole life changed since Bake Off? Oh, do you know what, yeah? I think my life is pretty much the same. Like, well, I feel the same, but things happen. Like, different things happen every day, I guess. 
Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes people recognize me on the street and stuff. Like, oh, you should have worn it. But, I mean, everyone that I see on the street, I mean, they're really like positive about the whole thing and like really supportive. And obviously, I've got like the opportunities up there, which is really cool. But I don't have to say it's lucky to say. But just, I just eat more cake. <laughs> So, what are your plans for the future in light of this? Mm, my plans for the future, in a nutshell, just to smash it. Like, just to, every year I try to um, better my previous year. So, the year before Bake Off, I was like, what year was that? I was first year of uni, so I was, uh, I was just like, make sure I get, I bake more, make sure I cover certain uh, disciplines like chocolate, like Easter eggs and stuff like that. So I did that, and the year after I had to better that. So then that was Bake Off. So to better Bake Off, that's hard, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So uh, thanks so much, Liam, for coming um, and letting Pleasure. us interview you.